Welcome back to B4 Crypto and yes, in this video we're going to address the most important question. When are we going to see the next bull run? And which tool can we use to really determine are we in a bullish or in a bearish cycle for Bitcoin? Guys, we're going to look at the charts, but not only that, we're also going to look at the daily and the one hour chart of Bitcoin and Ethereum to really determine what is going to be the next move. Are we first going to see this push up all the way to this very important trend line round about the levels of 22,500 US dollars? Or are we first going to see this dump all the way down to the CME gap in between the 19,500 US dollars and the 20,000 US dollars? So guys, if you want to find out what this simple tool is that you can use to really determine are we in a bearish or in a bullish stand for Bitcoin and which would be the levels that we could say yes, we are in a bull run and that we're going to see higher prices from here. So guys, if you want to find out more, watch the video until the end, smash up the like button and most importantly, activate the bell so that you always get notified when I upload a new video. And guys, we're going to start on a daily chart, but first of all, I want to thank all the new subscribers for subscribing and really helping that we could beat the algorithm and that we can reach even more people. Guys, we're going to start on the daily chart and yes, we have a positive signal for Bitcoin. We have formed a higher high in comparison to this high. But yes, Bitcoin is still stuck underneath this resistance. But guys, to really determine what is going to happen in the immediate short term, we have to go on the one hour chart for Bitcoin. So guys, on the one hour chart for Bitcoin, yes, we can see that we are in this channel and at the moment Bitcoin is moving quite sideways. What is going to be very important that we are going to hold the 50 moving average that we have just tested for Bitcoin and also the bottom of this trend line. Yes, maybe we're going to see a fake out all the way to the 100 moving average and then we're going to see a bounce on the one hour chart and come back into this range. But guys, this will be an indication if we're going to close a one hour candle underneath the 100 moving average on the one hour chart that we are most probably going to go down all the way down to this CME gap. But guys, at the moment it looks like that Bitcoin is trying to bounce off from these regions. But yes, we could see that we have formed the M and this is normally a bearish pattern and we can break out all the way to these levels. But guys, we have to be careful about all of these fake outs that we could see for Bitcoin because yes, you could see a lot of wicks to the downside and also towards the upside getting all of this liquidity. So guys, at the moment we'll see if we're going to hold this 100 moving average and this will really determine if we're going to see that the price movement will move up even higher or if we're going to get this dump even lower. But guys, let's go over on the charts of Ethereum before I'm going to show you which magic tool you can use to really determine are we in a bullish stand or are we still in a bearish situation. But first of all, let's go over to Ethereum. Yes, for Ethereum, we can see we haven't formed a higher high for Ethereum yet because yes, you can see that this high is still higher. So guys, at the moment, I think that yes, we could see this pump up towards these levels because Ethereum hasn't formed a higher high yet. So guys, this could be one indication that Bitcoin will follow Ethereum and Ethereum will come all the way to this resistance area round about the level of 1,700 US dollar for Ethereum. But guys, let's go on the lower time frames for Ethereum to find out in which pattern are we at the moment and can we see the same scenario as for Bitcoin? Because sometimes Ethereum is a leading indicator that we can see that Bitcoin will follow Ethereum. And yes, Ethereum doesn't look all too bearish because this could turn into a W and we could see the price come all the way up into these levels before we're going to see the break and the test of this resistance. But guys, as for Bitcoin, you can also see that Ethereum is at the moment at the 50 moving average and that we are underneath the 13 moving average. And that is not so good. But maybe we're going to get this bounce and maybe a fake out towards the 100 moving average. As for Bitcoin, to really catch some liquidity from all the longs that have been building up in these regions. So guys, we have to be careful for these wicks. But yes, we could also see for Ethereum that we had this fake out towards the downside. But guys, now we're going to go on the weekly chart of Bitcoin to find out which indication we could use to really determine if we are in a bullish or in a bearish situation for Bitcoin and the overall crypto market. So guys, on the weekly chart, we can see that yes, we bounced off perfectly from this five year trend line that we have formed. And I told you, this is going to be the ultimate bottom for Bitcoin. Yes, maybe we could come down and retest this trend line once again, but guys, these are the ultimate lows, but now we're going to find out which tool we could use to really determine are we in a bull run or are we in a bear market. And guys, first of all, a lot of people use the 100 moving average to really determine are we in a bullish 
or in a bearish cycle. And yes, you can see once we cross the 100 moving average here, you could say yes, we have entered the bear market round about the levels of 5,600 US dollars and then Bitcoin came all the way down to the levels of 3,200 US dollars. And after we crossed the 100 moving average, you could see that we were in a bullish stand for Bitcoin. Yes, you could use the 100 moving average as here you can also see we crossed it towards the upside and this was the indication that we are in a bull run. But guys, let's look at this really closely. Here you can see the 100 moving average, the price movement crossed the line and yes, this was round about the level of 36,000 US dollars. But guys, what if I tell you that I have a simple tool that you could use that even showed you a higher exit for Bitcoin and a lower entry to get into these assets. And yes, we're going to draw a trend line from the bottom and the candle close we had here run about the corona dump and then we're going to drag it all the way up to these lines so that we have the most amount of touch points and yes you could see if we had this one two three four touch points and we broke this level towards the downside we could say yes we were in a bearish stand for bitcoin we have left the trend round about the levels of 50,800 US dollars. So this would have been a perfect exit round about the levels of 51,000 US dollars and not all the way down at 37,000 US dollars. So guys, this would have been a good indication. So let's back test it even more. So we're going to go all the way back and we're going to drag it from the slow all the way up. And then we can see, yes, we would have had this exit round about the same levels. So this would have worked with the 100 moving average. So let's take it from the top all the way to the bottom. And then we can see, yes, here would have been our signal that we would be in a bullish stand for Bitcoin. And this would have been the levels of 4,000 US dollars and not the levels of 6,400 US dollars. So this would have been a plus and a perfect entry to enter in the next bull cycle. So guys, let's go over to the bear market that we are in at the moment. And we're going to drag this downward sloping trend all the way from the top, all the way down. And then we can see, yes, we haven't touched this trend line yet. So if we're going to break with a daily candle or even with a weekly candle, this trend line, we could say, yes, we are in the next bull run for Bitcoin. And this is my tool, how I determine if we're going to see a start or the end of a bullish scenario. So guys, we're going to go over back to our daily chart to find out, yes, this line is the most important line. This is this downward sloping trend from the all time high all the way down. So this means if we're going to retest this line and we're going to break this trend line with a daily candle close and maybe even a retest, we could say, yes, we're in a bullish stand for Bitcoin. So guys, if you always wanna stay up to date and trade all of my moves and buy crypto on the spot market or trade it on a leverage market, make sure to follow my free Telegram group and sign up to my BitKit link to receive a massive deposit bonus of up to 5,000 US dollars. And guys, really make sure to smash up the like button and subscribe so that we can beat the algorithm and guys make sure to be for crypto and we see each other in the next video